Hi guys, oh my gosh, I literally almost finished it. This matcha is so good. But anyway, as you can see, I'm doing a book video today, which is exciting because I've been wanting to read a lot over the summer and most of these books are like summer books. Like I would even say that like half of them literally have the word summer in the title. But yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys some of my favorite books and books that I wanna read during the summer. And just in general, like some of these books you can read just like at any time. During the winter sometimes, I love to like pick up a summer book and be like nostalgic about summer because sometimes that seasonal depression really just hits but yeah i have some of my favorite authors here and some books that i don't have that i hope to add to my collection and to read as like either audiobooks or digital books so yeah let's get into it i literally have so many books i need like i need like a new place to put them like my shelf is getting like actually it's gonna fall so but yeah let's get into some of my favorite book recs i split it up into authors the first author is mia sheridan i really love her books they're very deep and like tragic but they also have the aspect of um, a romance that helps them heal from it so i like seeing that gradual development from being broken to like having someone else help help them heal so yeah these are the two books i have of mia sheridan's the first one i read was Archer's Voice. This one was really good because both of the characters had baggage from the past. She went through something like recently and he went through something from when he was really young and now it's still like having an effect on him. The story is about how both of them help each other heal. It's about a young woman named Brie Prescott and she goes to lose herself in a small town in maine and she meets this guy named archer one of my favorite things about this book is that it's a dual pov so you hear her pov and then his like past and then his thoughts so i really think it's interesting seeing both of their point of views on like different things that happen hearing about their past and how that fits into the story is very interesting and yeah overall good read second book was most of all you i read this a long time ago so i don't really remember it it was like two years ago or something but this is a story again she had baggage from the past um with her parents and there's also like a terrible darkness of his past as well these books are very similar in the fact that they both have baggage and they're trying to heal together crystal the main female character because of her past experiences she does not want love she does not feel like she's capable of loving and receiving love and although gabriel the main male character went through something heartbreaking there's a like a certain goodness in him she starts to see this and yeah overall really like this book throughout my summer or like throughout just like reading in general i like to move from like more light-hearted books to like more deeper books and these are the more deeper books in my selections but yeah mia sheridan really good of these books now we're gonna go into the authors that i only have like one of their books the first one is where the crawdad sing by delia owens this book is set in the marsh in north carolina if you guys have seen the movie but basically it's like a murder mystery it also has like a subplot of romance which is just something i really like because it's not solely about romance it has elements of like a mystery and i really find that interesting basically the main female character her name is Kaya and she's named like the marsh girl and she's basically like this outcast so I just think it's very interesting because the vibes are so summery the marsh is where she spends most of her time because she lives there and yeah I just like the romance element and the mystery of the murder element also so overall good read and then you can also watch the movie after which i really like because when i'm reading the book i'm like visualizing everything and then 
when I watch the movie, it's like, oh, no way. Like, this is actually, like, this is what it looked like. So I just find that super cool. Taylor Jenkins Reid. I only have After I Do. I don't have Daisy Jones and the Six, but I also really want to read that one. Basically, After I Do is about a marriage that is breaking up, and they decide to take a break for a year to rekindle their love or see if they can make anything work. But yeah, something I really love about this book is I haven't read it yet, but I know that it goes from two storylines basically and one is them falling in love and one of them is them reaching their breaking point love taylor jenkins reed she's so good and i love some of her other books like malibu rising um that one was one of my favorite books and i'll talk about that for a little bit but yeah definitely read this one i'll let you know how it is but anyway um malibu rising was such a good book i really liked all the characters it's basically just siblings and like how their parents um fit into it because their parents were both very famous and it's basically showing like how their family has broken up and how their parents marriage and love story like ended which i think is really interesting and i just like loved all the characters i like fell in love with them i feel like i knew them i don't know but like the storyline it wasn't romance but there was something about it that was so engaging and like i couldn't put it down once i picked it up yeah and you just like fall in love with the characters you feel like they're your family yeah i don't know it was really good it's set in california so like they do a lot of like surfing one of them one of the siblings is actually a surfer he's like famous and one's like a photographer it just kind of shows how they together have handled the absence of their parents daisy jones and the six is another one i really want to read it's about this band it's like an interview style book and daisy kind of explains like her journey with the band and i've just heard really good things about it so definitely adding that to my tbr next is 24 hours in paris i don't even know where i got this but i think it was like a mystery book but yeah this one's very similar to after i do because she is calling off her engagement and she decides to take this trip to paris and it's like a business trip so it's like all expenses are paid and she goes on this business trip with her co-worker and everything seems to go wrong like flights are overbooked she misses trains subways all that so she's stuck with her co-worker she finds really annoying it's kind of like enemies to lovers kind of trope also and forced proximity so if you like those tropes then this is a book for you but yeah it's like so summery because it's like in a new place like it's paris it's very romanticized definitely read this book okay on to the next stack okay this book i literally bought yesterday so i have no idea like what it's about i didn't like really read it i read the back and i really liked it because it's like sisters and i have two sisters so i wanted to read about this one also it wasn't fully romance and i've been reading a lot of romance this summer so I just need like a little break from it and i think this is the perfect thing it's also set in cape cod so i love cape cod and i love like martha's vineyard like that area so this is the perfect book for me and anyone who likes like in new england summer it's about hannah and she's a best-selling author and she's struggling to write her next book because she faced like personal losses so she goes back to cape cod where her and her sister grew up sarah is trying to revive her love affair with literature she's struggling with a marriage that is fizzling out and a lot of family responsibilities and so hannah goes back to cape cod where her sister is and they spend the summer making friends and rekindling romance also she's an author so it's like she's trying to revive her literature but she's also covering from something from the past and it's also romance so honestly best of everything this is kind of like beach read also if you guys have heard of that I'm, I'm sure you have like that one's like the most like famous like summer book i guess i literally can't wait to read this so much like cape cod trauma from the past romance literature sisters so many reasons to read the book next one i actually did read i read this a couple weeks ago i think it was two weeks ago um the summer of broken rules this one is literally so good basically it's about a girl she also has trauma from the past um, her sister died and they're going back to martha's vineyard again my favorite setting for like a summer book but it's not the same without her sister they used to go as a family all their family would be there for a week in the summer and they play this game called assassin and her sister was the best one at the game and taught her everything she knows okay i'm sorry the lighting changed but she wants to win in honor of her sister so she forms this alliance with the best man of the groom because she's there for a wedding as they spend more time together they form a bond a lot comes out about his connection to her sister but yeah i love this book and i think it's like it's light-hearted 
moments but there's also some tragedy connected to it her past doesn't take away from the romance as well like you won't be like really sad reading this and i think that's like the perfect thing about a summer book because you should be able to like read it like in the summer and be like happy and romanticizing life during summer so perfect book to read like on the beach just like on vacation it happened one summer by tessa bailey i haven't actually read this book but a lot of people said it was good this is set in washington it's a small town romance which is really interesting i love the small town romance like trope um it's one of my favorites so i'm so excited to read this she comes from beverly hills to live with her stepfather and she realizes that maybe the glamorous life of Beverly Hills is not what she really wants. So yeah, so I decided to read this because it's like the girl from like the glamorous city to the guy that's been like locally there for like a while. So can't wait to read this. Spanish Love Deception. I read this like three years ago and I literally still remember like how. That's when you know a book is good. Yeah, it's basically about Catalina and she's going to her sister's wedding. She lied to her family that she had an American boyfriend. So she has to bring someone to the wedding. Her coworker happens to offer. She thinks they're enemies, but he does not. And they have to pretend like they're in love. It's like enemies to lovers, but that's only from like her side. Cause like, I don't think he sees her as, as like an enemy. The thing about the fake dating trope also is that the lines become blurred. Like, are we faking it now? Or is this like real? might seem aggravating to some people but like to me it's very satisfying to see them finally come to realize that they do love each other and it's not just fake another good read next one love theoretically this one's not really like a summer one the main girl character elsie she offers herself up as a fake girlfriend to anyone who needs it and i think this one's really cute because she tries to fit in with what other people want her to be and her love interest like he doesn't want her to try to change her personality to make him like her more. He just wants her to be her because that's who he likes. It's just so like cute and like makes me want to literally shed tears. So I just think it's so cute and the science element to it is like really good because they're like opposites in that also and i think it's really interesting that he helped her find like who she really is yeah i just love that part about this book so it's not really summer one but also a really good book recommendation okay this stack is just like authors that like i have actual multiple books of but we're gonna start with like the miscellaneous like weird kind of books like that are not like romance not like murder like not like mystery kind of we were liars heard a lot of things about this book it's on a private island off the coast of massachusetts which is super summery it's about like a group of four friends it talks about like their friendship turning destructive there's an accident and secrets so yeah it's a mystery and yeah there's lies and there's love and i don't know wait this actually kind of sounds really good so incorporate some of my favorite themes as i said before which is like romance and like mystery and like i really love a friend group i think that plays an important like role next one is cruel prince i found this um the reason why i think this is like summary is because i found it in like one of the book trading things by the beach and i just think i want to like broaden my genres that i read so i think this one's a good one a lot of people say it's really good so excited to read because this is honestly like something i've never read before it's like different than like a typical rom-com next one this one's like classic little women you guys all have to watch little women it's like my favorite movie ever and this this copy is so pretty and yeah love this book and can't wait to read it again time for colleen hoover i have three of her books all your perfects verity and heart bones i've read all your perfects and heart bones but i can't wait to read verity because this one's also like a mystery kind of thing she gets offered this hard job because there's this couple jeremy crawford and verity crawford and verity crawford is injured and she can't finish the rest of her series lowen the writer that is struggling is offered a job to finish her series lowen upon trying to bring together like the materials to write the rest of the series found this autobiography verity never intended for anyone else to read and it's basically verity's point of view from the night her family was forever altered like something groundbreaking happened and i just think the mystery in this is really good and there's so much anticipation throughout the book i feel like and i can't wait to read that all your perfects also love this book because it has different timelines one chapter would be about how they're like falling in love 
meeting each other and the next one would be how their perfect love is being threatened by marriage and different obstacles and the one thing that might save their marriage is the one thing that might destroy it also so i love how this is like an obstacle that they had to overcome together and it's not just them like falling in love or falling out of love it's like both i mean it makes for such a good plot if you love colleen hoover you'll love this book heart bones this is such a summary book that one was not as summary like you could read that book without it being summer but also a really good book right this book is so summary because she goes to she goes to i think texas because she went through something really hard at home so she had to go stay with her father who has like a really nice like beach house she has to stay with her step siblings and meets this guy named samson there's a ton of like bonfires and like parties she goes to and they decide to start a summer fling and obviously that like kind of turns into more later there's a bunch to like what happens Happened to him and his trauma but also like what's happening to her and her trauma this one's very very deep because they have such brokenness to them and they're trying to figure it out together but there's also like fun of like the summer feeling summary things that they do christina lauren another one of my another two of my favorite authors i guess because christina lauren is like two authors i read dating you hating you and the unhoneymooners the unhoneymooners is about the wedding olive is the i think she's the maid of honor and ethan is the best man of the groom and her nemesis everyone else gets food poisoning and they happen to not get food poisoning and so basically they have to go on the honeymoon together forced proximity enemies to lovers this overall is really fun and it's literally set in hawaii in maui so like obviously summer book dating you hating you this is set in hollywood they're both agents and their agency is merge so now they're co-workers so it's like workplace romance and they're both very competitive so they automatically have to compete with each other and this one's very much like what's the book i'm thinking of the hating game and yeah overall a good pick now this one is the one i'm most excited to read love in other words it's set by lake house but it's very it gives very summery vibes they were lovers in the past and they had such an incredible friendship when they were very young so it's like she's going back and meeting this guy all over again love the elements of like what made them like not be friends anymore and that's like the mystery of it like why are they not friends anymore um what made them grow apart and that's like a mystery that like goes throughout the whole book and i can't wait to find out what that what that is can't wait to read this book you guys definitely should like out of all these books like definitely keep this one in mind carly fortune okay this is the book i'm reading currently okay every summer after um this one also alternates between what happened in the past and now how they're going back to barry's bay which is like a summer area i don't really know they fell in love over six summers so that's a very deep connection like six summers dang that's like six years they fell apart in one moment and this weekend they were going to a funeral and seemed to meet each other again and make things right but yeah that's what this book is about but this summer will be different basically it goes also from like past to present the past is her going to Prince Edward Island to meet her her best friend's family. She happens to get there before her best friend and she ends up hooking up with this guy. And the guy is her best friend's brother. And so that's the past. And then the present, she's going back there to help her best friend go through something traumatic. There's a lot of tension between her and her best friend's brother. The vibes are, of the book is so nice because they're like, beach house obviously and the secret romance that shouldn't be happening and the tension between them i think remains throughout the whole book is another thing that makes this book really interesting and like i can't put down okay finally emily henry oh my gosh what the emily henry my absolute favorite author i literally love her also look how satisfying these books are together happy place oh my gosh i literally love this book it's about a friend group actually the main character is named harriet her love interest was win or is win they were fiancés and it ended up not working because she wanted to live in california because that's where her work was and he wanted to stay with her but where he really thrives is montana so they had to separate because it wasn't working. Every summer, their whole friend group, three couples, they go to Maine, spending one last summer 
in Maine at their summer house together. So they have to pretend they are fiancés again and that they're in love. It's like forced proximity. I really, really love how Emily Henry describes in so much detail what the character is thinking and what everything could mean. I don't know, it just really makes for such a cozy romance. Beach Read, I don't really know what it's, why it's called this because apparently it's like at like a lake house. But anyway, she's in a writer's block. So she goes to take a little break and try to rekindle, rekindle her inspiration. But she realizes her neighbor is the guy from college that she competed with like a lot. He writes like sci-fi books and she writes romance. They switch genres. So basically she takes him on, on like most typical dates to help him write romance. And so they spend more time together. And also beach read, of course, it makes the perfect beach read. Excited to read this on the beach. A lot of people have raved about this book. So I'm excited to see how it lives up to my expectations. And I'm sure it will because it's literally Emily Henry, so book lovers sorry there's like a sticker on like the front of the book it's kind of really annoying i don't know why they put it there they go to north carolina so it's also a very summery book sunshine falls north carolina so like obviously summer it's like a small town romance as well because her sister libby brings her to north carolina um she keeps bumping into charlie La lastra La lastra i don't know how to pronounce that he's like bookish and he's a brooding editor they keep being thrown together again and again and i just love love the small town romance of it the thing about summer books it's like is like it's always like in a new place which i love and like the place is always so like beachy and like just like so cute and satisfying and emily henry like the way she writes about the characters makes you really um feel like you know the character well and overall love all of her books but yeah those are all my summer books and all of my book recommendations but yeah i hope you guys like this video um it's very different i haven't done a book video at all so i just think it's interesting um to see as you guys who likes books and it's just like a different way to connect with you guys as well hope you guys if you're not into books i hope you guys try one of these books out for yourself and see if you enjoy them hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day hope some of these books made it to your tbr yeah and i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe um if you want to and like the video if you liked the video see you guys in the next one Try